On this video we're taking a look at our NBA parlay picks for the games that are happening on Saturday, April 2nd, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Our first parlay pick is, Chicago Bulls vs Miami Heat. Miami Heat minus 1. And here is why. With 5 games left, the Bulls are 5th in the Eastern Conference. Heading into Friday, they were half a game ahead of Toronto and 1.5 games behind Philadelphia for the fourth spot. Chicago is on a two-game winning streak after defeating the Los Angeles Clippers 135-130 in an overtime thriller on Thursday. Demer Derozan led the way with 50 points on 17 of 26 shooting from the field and 14 of 15 from the line. Nikola Vucevic added 22 points and grabbed 14 rebounds, and Zach Lavin scored 21 points. The Heat hold a slim half-game lead over the Milwaukee Bucks for first in the Eastern Conference. After losing four straight games, the Heat have won their last two games, beating the Kings 123-100 on Monday and Boston 106-98 on Wednesday. Jimmy Butler led the team with 23 points against the Celtics, followed by Kyle Lowy with 23 points and 8 assists. Bam Adebayo added 17 points, grabbed a team's best 12 rebounds, and dished out 8 assists. Miami is 19th in the NBA, scoring 109.3 ppg and 14th shooting 46.4% from the field. They excel from the three-point line where the club is second knocking down 37.4% and fifth shooting 81% from the free throw line. On defense, Miami is third holding opponents to 105.1 ppg and fourth allowing just 44.5% shooting from the floor and 34.1% from three-point range. There are a lot of possible seeding combinations that need to be settled in the Eastern Conference, but it's looking like the Brooklyn Nets are the favorite to end up as the number 7 seed. The Heat would like to end up with the number 1 seed and gain home court advantage throughout the conference playoffs and avoid Brooklyn in the first round. Miami has had Chicago's number this season, winning each head-to-head -head game by at least 3 points, and I expect them to complete the regular season sweep on Saturday. Atlanta Hawks vs Brooklyn Net. Atlanta Hawks plus 1. And here is why. The Nets lost a heartbreaker against the defending champion Milwaukee Bucks 120-119 in overtime in a thrilling game on Thursday night. Kevin Durant had 26 points, 11 assists, and 7 rebounds for the Nets, but missed a triple that would've won it. Kiri Irving scored 25 points, and Bruce Brown had 23. The Bucks and Nets could be headed for a first-round matchup this year. The Nets are now just 1-2 in home games with both Irving and Durant in the lineup, after Irving was recently cleared to play in home games, with the vaccination ban lifted. The Brooklyn Nets are averaging 112.5 points on 47.4% shooting and allowing 112.2 points on 45.3% shooting. Kevin Durant is averaging 29.6 points and 6.2 assists, while Kiri Irving is averaging 26.9 points and 4.2 rebounds. Seth Curry is the third double-digit scorer, and LaMarcus Aldridge is grabbing 5.6 rebounds. The Brooklyn Nets are shooting 35.9% from beyond the arc and 80.1% from the free-throw line. The Brooklyn Nets are allowing 34.6% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.1 rebounds per game. The Atlanta Hawks are averaging 113.7 points on 47% shooting and allowing 112.4 points on 47.1% shooting. Trey Young is averaging 28.2 points and 3.7 rebounds, while John Collins is averaging 16.2 points and 1.8 assists. Bogdan Bogdanovic is the third double-digit scorer, and DeAnder Hunter is grabbing 3.2 rebounds. The Atlanta Hawks are shooting 37.4% from beyond the arc and 81.4% from the free throw line. The Atlanta Hawks are allowing 36.4% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.9 rebounds per game. The Brooklyn Nets should have a nasty taste in their mouth after blowing a game against the Bucks, but they continue to be hit or miss at times and they have issues on the glass and defensively. The Atlanta Hawks are playing their best ball of the season, and that includes winning their last five games by an average of 8.2 points while shooting 49.9% from the field. This is a big game in terms of seeding for the play-in tournament. Eileen Hawks at home.
Golden State Warriors vs Utah Jazz. Utah minus 1.5 points. And here is why. The Jazz have been in up and down form over the last few games but they will need to pick up their best as the postseason draws closer. They cruise past the Los Angeles Lakers 122-109 in their previous game to move to 46-31 for the season. The Jazz got excellent production from their stars, including Donovan Mitchell who had 29 points, while Rudy Gobert managed 25 points and 17 rebounds. Jordan Clarkson chipped in with 19 points, while Mike Conley had 18 points. The Utah Jazz have been in a slump as they were riding a five-game losing streak, but they will be feeling so much better after taking down the shorthanded Lakers in a 122-109 win on Thursday. Donovan Mitchell led the team with 29 points and 7 assists, Rudy Gobert added 25 points with 17 rebounds and 2 blocks, Jordan Clarkson scored 19 points off the bench, while Mike Conley chipped in with 18 points on 7 of 9 shooting. As a team, the Jazz shot 51% from the field and 15 of 44 from the three-point line as they poured in 66 points in the first half to take the early double-digit lead and won easily in a game in which they never trailed. The Warriors have been in poor form over the last month or so. They have lost their last four games to fall to 48-29 for the season. They won't mind this disruption as long as they can pick back up quickly in the playoffs. They were beaten 107-103 by Phoenix in their previous game. They also have Draymond Green picking up some rhythm as the postseason closes in. Steph Curry is also making progress in his recovery from a sprained left foot. The Golden State Warriors have been in terrible shape as they've lost seven of their last eight games and they will be eager to put a halt to a four-game slide after coming up short to the Suns in a 107-103 loss on Wednesday. Jordan Poole led the team with 38 points, 9 rebounds and 7 assists, Andrew Wiggins added 19 points, while Draymond Green tallied 8 points with 10 rebounds and 7 assists. As a team, the Warriors shot just 42% from the field and 13 of 38 from the three-point line as they managed just 16 points in the second quarter to fall behind going into halftime before coming up just short in the fourth quarter where the Suns' backcourt came through in the clutch. The Warriors needed more production from their bench, and they needed more scoring from Klay Thompson who shot just 5 of 21 from the field and 1 of 10 from the three-point line. The Jazz have been well below their best lately, but they would have taken plenty of confidence from their easy win over the shorthanded Lakers, especially as they were on a five-game losing streak. The Warriors have been in worse form than the Jazz as they've lost seven of their last eight, but they were more than competitive in their narrow loss to the surging Suns. The Warriors can pull off the minor upset if Thompson can bounce back with a better performance in this one, but I'm leaning towards the Jazz at the short line in this spot as they are 7-3-1 at TS in the last 11 meetings in Golden State. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.